Tanner Schedule, back-to-back -back EIWA champion. How are you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Excited. Um, tough tournament. You ground your way through it. Uh, came out on top. Could you walk us through it a little bit? Um, yeah, like uh, every season, like has kind of ups and downs. You know, been banged up a little bit. Uh, uh, last tournament I wrestled was a scuffle. Did pretty well there. I lost uh, Shane Griffith. Griffith off like a stalling call in the finals. And then I was kind of banged up, like missed like a month or so. Uh, came back last week against Army. Wrestled pretty well. I beat Kale McCormick in the finals. And so I came to this, like the one seed or whatever. But, uh, you know, it was gonna be a grind. Like my weight had six bids. Like I've lost to uh, Arab Gerald before. I have like, I don't know. I've like had my back and forth with people. So I know it's gonna be uh, a pretty good battle, but I don't know, I'm pretty confident in those environments where you just keep wrestling and grinding like back-to-back -back matches. So um, came out on top in the first match. I actually, I went for a body lock right off the bat and I landed on my back and I gave up four points. And um, I was like talking to my coaches because there was like, um, they were like challenging one of the calls or something. And I was just laughing. I was like, yeah, it's cool. Like I'll get it back. And then I ended up pinning that kid and then I had the Cornell kid was really tough. I beat him off of like a ride, a ride point. And then I had Army in the semis again. I had him last week. That's always a battle. Um, me and Kale McCormick have wrestled five times now. And it's always a close decision. Um, he he like, likes that low double and I know he's coming for it. Usually gets me in the face a few times with it though. But he's a scrapper, man. I beat him 1-0 in the semis and I had Hartman from Bucknell pretty good match um four to two final so it's a pretty sweet tournament i was excited cody tried this also won so it was sweet to get two champs the same year yeah and you got a, a third going for for a yeah, title for so. sure man like spencer's a an animal too we wrestle all the time so it's gonna be awesome um so 165 obviously a pretty tough bracket with, with six qualifier spots being on the line I heard you are a little small for the weight class and have to, to keep on it to make sure you keep your weight up. Is this true? <laughs> for sure. Um, I actually, like, I try to get big on, like, in the off season because you never want to be the guy that's, like, underweight. So I probably got up to, like, 75 or so, um, like, over the summertime. But once practice started, it all shed it off. And I usually, I never get above, like, 165, like, Monday after the weekend. Um, I'll come in and weigh like 165 flat, but uh, by the time like we go through the week, like I have to eat actually second dinner every night. So I bring like a ton of food and I stock it in my fridge in my room. And every night before I go to bed, I eat like like an absurd amount of food and I get like really full before I go to bed. And uh, like the night before weigh in, I'll always be like, I'll be like two pounds under and I drift like a crazy amount of weight. So I, I'll drift like three, four pounds at nighttime. So I'm like, doing the math in my head and I'll have to, um, we'll, we'll cater in Olive Garden and I'll have to eat like a big plate and then I'll have to get a whole nother plate and like take <laughs> it back to my room and then like eat it like while I'm like watching TV or something and just like fill up so that I'm not like super under before, or so I'm not super under or weigh -ins. I usually come, I like eat when I wake up before a tournament and then like I'll weigh and I'll check my weight on the scale and I'll be like, crap, like I'm too under, like I don't want everyone to like, see that I'm super underweight so I'll like pound like a couple bottles of water and stuff so I don't know it's a unique problem to have for, for sure. a wrestler does it I make like, your teammates jealous at all oh for sure like I'm always messing with them I'll be like oh it's so tough having to like eat so much food before weighing <laughs> and they'll be like screw you Tanner like get out of here like that's not even a problem like I've literally been pulling weight like all week and I'll just like laugh at him it's kind of funny but it's all love <laughs> yeah. what do the next two weeks leading up to NCAAs look like for you uh, just a lot of feeling good, uh, working on positions, you know, just honing the craft. All those guys in CAAs, they're all ranked dudes, all the best dudes in the country. So like every match is a battle. It's, it's like just those little small technical things. So just like probably watch some film, um, usually on myself and then just see like little areas where I can improve. Um, and then just like work on that. I always spar with Lloyd Rogers. Um, he's a man, he's our coach and he works with me like every day and he just like teaches me crazy stuff. He'll like just throw me in some weird move and like pin me and just be like, oh yeah, I was just like, watching some film or whatever. And it's really annoying, but uh, yeah, I probably work with him a lot. 
Um, yeah, just like staying healthy, staying feeling good, just working on NCAAs. Right. So I'm next. Cool. Congratulations, Dan. Thank you so much.